Yeah, that, that's... Hello. Ma'am, can you tell me your name? Rebecca Coppola. All right. Um, Mr. Uh, Glazer, we have to do the swear to on this one first. Yes, Judge. Detective, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Detective? Yep, I can hear you. Can you hear me okay? Yes. All right. Uh, we're here to do the uh, swear to for Miss uh, Coppola. Or is it Coppola, ma'am? Uh, Coppola. How do you pronounce it? Coppola? Coppola. Uh, Coppola. Okay, I'm sorry. Coppola. Yeah. Coppola. Okay. Yep. Uh, so we'll call State of Michigan versus Rebecca Ann Coppola, case number 241247. Detective Fortin, could you raise your right hand? Yep. You solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Oh, Go ahead, sir. Me? Oh, sorry. Okay, Detective Fortin with the Waterford Police Not Department on a 1 20 24. Waterford Township Police Officers responded to the Township of Waterford for a DV slash FA complaint. Excuse me. Upon arrival, officers spoke with the victim, Thomas Nash. Uh, he advised officers that his living girlfriend since November 2023, Rebecca Coppola, picked up a wooden chair and hit him with it. Uh, she aimed the chair at his head, but Thomas was part Thomas was able to partially block the strike with his arm. Rebecca then punched Thomas on the left side of his face with a closed fist. Again, Thomas was able to partially block the strike. Thomas recorded the assault on his phone. Uh, officers watched that video, and uh, the video corroborates Thomas' story. Rebecca was taken in custody for FANDV. Uh, Ms. Coppola's uh, CCA shows that she has two prior DV convictions. I sent this to the Oakland, Oakland County Prosecutor's Office where a two count felony warrant for FA and DV third were issued for Coppola. Thank you. Based on the testimony of the detective, I do find that a sufficient factual basis exists to support probable cause for the crimes alleged in the complaint and warrant, that being count one, domestic violence, third offense notice, and count two, felonious assault. Uh, as such, I'll authorize the complaint warrant at this time, and I'll set no bond until she's arraigned. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Detective. Calling State of Michigan versus Rebecca Coppola, case number 2412147. Um, Mr. Glazer. Yes, good morning, Your Honor. Jeffrey Glazer, P46892 on behalf of Ms. Coppola. Uh, I did have a chance to talk to her. I did advise her of her rights, Judge. I also advised her of the charges against her as well as the maximum penalties. She will need a court appointed attorney for the next hearing and waive any reading stand or mute is charged. Thank you. I'll enter a not guilty plea on her behalf. Matter will be set for a probable cause conference on January 29th, 2024 at 9 a.m and for preliminary examination on February 5th, 2024 at 9 a.m. Uh, Ma'am, can you tell me your name, please, for the record? Rebecca Coppola. All right, Ms. Coppola, uh, today's date and time set for an arraignment. You're charged at this time with one count of domestic violence, third offense notice. That's a felony charge punishable up to five years in prison and or a $5,000 fine. In, in count two, you're charged with assault with a dangerous weapon. That's a felony charge punishable up to four years in prison and or a $2,000 fine. Because these are criminal charges, you have the right to have an attorney represent you from start to finish. If you can't afford one, one would be appointed for you at public expense. I note that there's a request here in the file for a court appointed attorney, and I'll grant you that at this time. Also, because this is these are felony charges, you have the right to have a preliminary examination held within 21 days of today's date. 
At that preliminary examination, it's the prosecution's burden of proof to prove by a probable cause standard that a crime was committed and that you probably committed the crime. If they're able to do so, the matter would be bound over to the circuit court where you have the following trial rights. You have the right to have a trial in this case by judge or by jury. At a trial, you are presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. At a trial, you have the right to see, hear, and confront all witnesses against you. You also have the right to call witnesses on your own behalf. And if they won't come in voluntarily, you have the right to have the court order them to come in on your behalf. Also at a trial, you have the right to testify if you wanted to or remain silent if you wanted to. And that silence cannot be used against you. Ma'am, do you understand what you're being charged with, what the maximum penalties are, and what your rights are? I understand. I'm sorry. I won't All right. Fix Thank you. Ma'am, ma'am. Okay. Don't say anything about the case. Let Mr. Glazer speak to you for you, okay? okay. Mr. Glazer, with respect to bond. Yes, Judge. Uh, my client's um, 44 years of age. She has two children, ages 22 and 14. Mm -hmm. um, she was living in her um, current residency there. She indicates to me that that's her apartment, Judge, at the um, Highland Road address. She's been there about eight months, I believe. Um, Although she has some blemishes on her record, I, it's my understanding she's always appeared as directed judge. Oh, she doesn't have a lot of, she doesn't have a lot of funds right now. She does makes her living doing door dashing. Um, I'm asking the court to consider a personal bond or a nominal cash bond for she to get out, Judge. Please. Thank you. Where um, do you, does she know where her children are? My well, my oldest daughter has her own apartment with her friend, and my 14-year-old is at my mom's right now. She has her own bedroom there. Um, but okay. she has theater, I gotta get her to, and I'm saving for her to go to New York. Um, I have two more payments for five hundred dollars for the next two months, and I need to get out and make money. The payments due on the 15th and along with my rent and I will always show up. I will never disrespect the courts like that ever. I don't want to get in any more what? trouble, but I promise not and I, I, I don't promise as you but I myself will always show up. I'd be scared not what's to the, I don't know. What's the status of her pending matter that looks like it rose out of Waterford that was uh, a drunk driving third it looks like. Is that case still going? Is it over? That I never heard anything about. I never got any sort of no notice or anything. My mom, I have all my, because I was process moving and all that. So I gave my mom, I gave um, all my mom's address. My mom lives the same house for her, or my whole life basically. So I gave them her address and she get, I see her every other day back and forth with my daughter and she always gives me my mail. And I've been looking and looking and wondering, I just never got anything. All right. Well, you're gonna have to check on that. I will. You're checking on these, so. I, will. Tenet, uh, <clears throat> I have had a chance to listen to statements by counsel, listen to the swear to, uh, as indicated, uh, defendant does have a criminal history dating back to 2006. She was uh, convicted of disor being a disorderly person in 06 of operating while intoxicated in 2007. I haven't been in trouble in many years. Ma'am. Ma'am, I gave I gave you time to speak. Okay, now it's my I'm time sorry. to speak. Okay. Okay. That's okay. okay. You you don't have to let me know that. I can I can tell that. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. Uh, it looks like there was a domestic in 2017, a another one in 2018, and operating with a high BAC in 2018 and leaving the scene of an accident. And then there's a pending matter out of Waterford for OUIL third. And then now defendant has a domestic violence third and felonious assault allegation against her. Um, obviously the court is concerned uh, for the safety of the public, albeit that the defendant has appeared for all her court dates. 
Um, yes. Certainly the 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 um, the conduct and the allegations are concerning to the court. Given the facts and circumstances of the case, uh, as well as the defendant's criminal history, I don't find that a personal bond is appropriate. However, I will give the defendant a cash bond with a 10% provision, set a bond in the amount of $10,000 cash surety or 10% with the following conditions. Ma'am, that you have no contact at all, direct or indirect contact with Thomas Nash. You understand that? No contact means no contact. Okay. Okay, you understand? Yeah. All right, and right now, right now, you're not to go back to five Waterford, Michigan. Okay. I'll let you go back there one time with a police escort. All right. You're going to be back here in court by January 29th. Well, that's where right. I live. Where am I supposed to live? He will go to his parents. I have no place to live with my daughter. That's our apartment. Ma'am, right now, and, and please don't argue with me, okay? We do this in every domestic situation like this, all right? And But if you let me finish, okay, you, you'll be able to hear what I'm going to say to you, all right? Okay. All right. So I said you can go back there one time to retrieve your belongings, all right? And then when you come back here to court on the 29th, so it's in a week, all right? You need to stay somewhere else for a week. You can stay at your mom's house, it sounds like, okay? Because your daughter's there, okay? Then if at that time... Ma'am, if at that time, Mr. Nash is not living at that apartment, okay? Because he right now has just the same amount of, of uh, access to that apartment as you do, okay? You can't kick him out right now, even if it's your name on the lease, okay? But he has just as much right to be there as you do, all right? And now I have an allegation that there's been an assault there, all right? So I'm not letting you go back there right now, okay? So if he's not living there, then you should address that with the next judge, okay? And then if he's not living there, then you can address that with the judge and hopefully the judge would say, okay, you can go back and start living there. I don't okay? have a place to go. I don't have a place to live. It's my oh, ma'am, then if you don't have, if, if, if you have no other place to live, then, then I can keep you in jail if you'd like me to do that. No, no. How am I gonna get so, a bond? Ma the only person that could bond me is him. Well, I, know. I, I don't know exactly how that's going to work, ma'am. Well, I so, don't know what to do. And, I've never had to do this before because I always show up. I don't know where we're going to live. As, he will go. As I indicated, ma'am. I know he will leave. I don't have a place for me and my daughter. Well, I don't I'm know that he's going to leave. I, I don't know if he's going to leave, so you can address that with the next leave. judge. He can go stay at can... his parents. I have no place to go with my daughter. Where are we going to go? And he will not be there. You can retrieve your you can retrieve your belongings one time with a police escort. All right, you'll not assault, beat, molest, in any way, verbally harass, intimidate, or threaten the complainant or any witnesses. No. You will personally appear for any court proceeding. You will not leave the state of Michigan without the permission of the court. You will immediately notify the court in writing of any change of address or telephone number. You'll not possess any firearm or other dangerous weapon. You shall refrain from using any alcohol, any form of THC, marijuana, oh, illegal no, drugs, no, or abuse medication. No. You must contact pretrial services within 24 hours of your release. Commit no new criminal offenses or activity. You will submit to a PBT and or urinalysis at the request of pretrial services. You will test for alcohol two times a week, drug testing, one time a month. That's right. fine. Right. How, how do right, I get a bond or something? I don't understand how this works. Ma'am, I, I can't give you any legal advice, unfortunately. All right, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to ask the deputy there. And then if you need to call a bondsman, you might have to have somebody call a bondsman to help you get that out, okay? The only person I can call is him to call. 
Well, you can't My call mom him because that will violate. She doesn't understand this stuff, sir. Please, please. You, you, just, you I, can't I contact. Show up. Ma'am, I, I, I set the bond, and that's what the bond's going to be. I know. I, and, but you can't. But you can't contact him. Like I just told you, you cannot contact Mr. Nash. He's the only one I can contact. He knows. You he can't knows. contact He's him. Sorry. Ma'am, you have a you have a twenty two year old daughter, don't you? I don't even know her phone number. I'm gonna have I have major panic attacks. I have major depression disorder. I'm gonna have a panic attack. My mom had a stroke. She cannot. She doesn't understand how to do this stuff. Ma'am, you have to take a deep breath. Okay, take a deep breath. I can't, I can't. I don't know how. I don't know where I'm gonna even live with my daughter. I've never had any. Take a deep breath. With take, my daughter. Ma'am, 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 you've had you've you've had to you've had to deal with bonds for how long? For years. I've always gotten a personal bond, sir. I am begging you, okay. please. And my and mom, I have I'm always not, I'm not giving you. I'm, I'm not giving you a personal bond. You don't, you're not entitled to a personal bond based on your history and based on the allegations. I don't find that a personal bond is appropriate. So you're not getting a okay. personal bond. I gave you okay. a 10% provision. I okay, know, but to allow how you am I going to do that? The only person that could do it is him. I, I can't help you with that. I'm, I'm sorry. You have to call a bond. What do I do? Ma'am, you have to contact a bondsman then. I have to contact them? I don't know how this works. <laughs> you don't know. He's the only one, and I know he regrets Mr. it. Mr. He, he pushed me. Um, like Mr. Blazer, do you want to go to the police on him? I'm I don't sorry, John. Do you want to speak to her? Do you want to put a help to have you speak to her? How to, how to contact a surety? Yeah. Yes, please. I just called Can the police. Can we put police you in a breakout room? Yes, Judge, please. Ma'am, hold on I, one second, okay? Okay. I don't know where I'm going to live. That's my apartment. In my daughter's room, I have everything there. He will go. He, every time we argue, he, I tell him to go to his mom's, and he goes to his mom's. No problem. He has that. I don't. Ma'am, ma'am, I'm going to have you speak to Mr. Glazer again, okay? Hold on one second. Okay. So I don't know if they're going to bring her back in, but I think we're all set. If you wanna... Okay, good. Thank you for talking to her again. She, yeah, she's just going to have to contact the bonding agency, and I'm sure the deputies will let her do that. So, Okay. I know this time we're to bring it back in, so there she is. All right, Ms. Capola, you're all set. You can let the deputies know you're finished, okay? Sir, I have no place to live. Ma'am, daughter, your, your daughter is your, your daughter's with your I, I can't I can't just keep arguing with you, ma'am. I, I understand that what you're telling me. All right, Where but I'm I not gonna change the bonds. I, and I Ma'am, I, I no, I'm not going to have you sleep in the street. I gave you. That's I, my only I gave, option. Gave you what, your daughter's not sleeping in the street, is she? My mom and dad will not let me go there. They're old. Well, they, those days are I, over. I, I, Ma'am, I can't help you. My sister lost her house. They didn't let her move in there. That's their rule now. They can't do for one and not the others. I, I'm then then go live with your sister, ma'am. I can't I can't help you anymore. I, I told you what what I would do for you, and I gave you a 10% provision, okay? And I indicated to you that you can address the, the bond with the judge going forward and as to what you need to tell the judge going forward, okay? It's gonna be in a week. They don't do it. Well, that's that. I can't, I can't, I don't know what else the judge will do, okay? But if if, if there's nobody living there. All right, then there would be no reason why you shouldn't go be able to go back there. Does that make sense? But so, what but if, right now I don't know that. We have no information but, that he's not there, so I can't do that. He won't All right? be there. He won't be there. Ma'am, I, I I appreciate you telling me sir, that, but I, I can't confirm that. Okay, so I've made my ruling. You're all set. You can let the deputies know you're done. Mr. Glazer's talked to you about what you need to do going forward. 
I just have one more question. What if the judge doesn't, if I don't say I can't get a bond myself because the only person that can do it is Tom. My mom gets confused. What when I go on the 29th and what if I'm still here and the, the judge doesn't. You're gonna, there's good. There's, there's going to be a, there's going to be a, an attorney that's going to reach out to you if you're still in custody. All right. Just like Mr. Glazer talked to you today, there should be an attorney that should talk to you prior to your, your hearing. All right. You'll need to talk to that person and, and let them know what you need. And if they need to make a couple of phone calls for you, they can make a couple of phone calls for you. Okay. Does that make sense? Am I, I'm basically stuck here forever. You're not going to be stuck there forever, ma'am. The, the case will resolve at some point. Okay. I will show up though. Can you just ma'am? I, I understand you're going to show up, but you know what? I, I you want me to, ma'am? I've gone over this already. Okay, and I'm 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 done talking about it. All right. I mean, I can go back I'm over sorry. your criminal history. You've been you've been in trouble however many I times. Have, um, and I you, have. You, got... you keep saying you show up in court, but the public just continues to be. Uh, you know, Sir, my affected I by you. Okay, daughter, you have drunk my, driving. You have drunk driving charges. It was horrible. I've yeah. struggled. I was right? in rehab so right I, before I, that happened. As a member of the public, the public is not safe with you. Okay, do you want me to just change your bond so you just stay there? No, sir. Okay. So your 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 matter is done. Your matter is concluded today. You can please okay. let the deputies know you're done. Okay. okay. Good luck. To I'm you. sorry. Thank you. All right, Ms. Koppel, step out. They'll, they'll, they'll let you make a phone call to the, to the surety, surety of the bonding agency, okay? Step out, please. They'll do one for me by myself? The deputies will let you make a phone call to the bonding agency. Am I allowed to call from the payphone? Ask the deputies. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Was that the last one, Judge? I think it was.